In June 2014, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, then leader of the Islamic State group, declared its so-called caliphate from this mosque in the Iraqi city Mosul. The declaration came after rapid advances against Iraqi security forces in parts of north and west of Iraq. Prior to that, IS militants had taken over major cities in eastern Syria including Raqqa, which was the group's de facto capital in Syria. In the years following the U.S. war on Iraq in 2003, corruption, political instability, and sectarian tensions between Shia and Sunni Muslims challenged Iraq's government. These factors, coupled with a complicated civil war in Syria, contributed to the emergence of IS, analysts say. There was, of course, the security vacuum, the lack of professionalism amongst the security forces, also this rapid corruption within the military apparatus and the security apparatus in Iraq. So all of that led to circumstances that any kind of armed group, not even necessarily uh, a group like ISIS or the Islamic State or the groups that were prior to the Islamic State, like uh, and Jihad with Tawhid and other groups, uh, and Al-Qaeda in general, any armed groups, basically any gang even, would there are ideal circumstances for them to operate. In a conflict-ridden country like Iraq, experts say corruption doesn't only damage the economy. Rather, it's a matter of national security because it allows for a terrorist group like IS to emerge and grow rich on the one hand. Uh, on the other, corruption also delegitimizes the government, the security forces, creates grievances with the local community. And therefore, the local government and the local security forces lose legitimacy in the eyes of the, uh, the citizenry. U.S.-backed forces in Iraq and Syria have recaptured nearly all the territory once controlled by IS, including both Mosul and Raqqa. Al-Baghdadi was killed in a U.S. strike in 2019, and thousands of IS fighters are now in the custody of U.S. partners in Iraq and Syria. However, since its official military defeat in March 2018, the militant group remains active by waging deadly attacks in both countries. Experts say if the same conditions that led to the rise of IS in 2014 are met again, the extremist group could re-emerge. The main lesson from ISIS, both its emergence and its defeat, is to not allow for such vacuum to ever exist again and to maintain the pressure on ISIS uh, for, uh, for them to never be able to uh, recuperate uh, to the degree where they are able to capitalize on such vacuums that conflicts, both political conflicts, economic conflict, perhaps ethnic and sectarian tensions would, uh, would create in both Syria and Iraq. Some argue those conditions are still present with instability continuing in Iraq and no end in sight for serious civil war. Sirwan Kejo, VOA News, Washington.